All right, new Neo tanks in hand, but we won't have a chance to deploy them just yet because right now we're gonna go head on out to mission five and lash out with best girl of the entire Black Hole series. Enemies at sea, enemies on land, out with them all and capture the HQ. According to our intel, it's just a little further ahead. Sammy, are you confident about the accuracy of this intel? It strikes me as odd that Flack would just be out here just resting his troops. Yep. I agree, but on the other hand, do you really think Flack's capable of setting a trap? Huh. Well, when you put it that way... Trying to face out, out uh, face off against everybody's waifu of the series. You're right. Black didn't set a trap for you. I did. Black doesn't have the cunning a cunning bone in his body. Huh? Who's that? A young girl? Uh, uh. A black hole CO, perhaps. <laughs> you got it. My name's Lash. Nice to meet you. Would you like to play with me? What do you say, Grandma? Uh, I do believe I'm being taunted. Uh, Sammy, bring her to me. Alive. Uh, oh, uh, y you got it, Nell. I think we need to leverage your transport units here. Do you need me to advise you on their use? Yes, because it's a very underutilized uh, thing in this series. See the tank up there? It might not be able to stop us, but it will definitely slow us down. Luckily, there's a faster way for us to proceed. We have to use a lander to transport units to the Iowa and capture the enemy HQ. <laughs> yes, ma'am. If victory relies on capturing, then I'm the right CO for the job. As well, you should be. Not only are you especially skilled at securing properties, your transport units come with a superior movement range. For starters, we ought to get that transport copter out of trouble. Select it, please. Right, transport unit. You mean the lander, right? If we leave this transport copter here, those two anti-air units will take it. Will take it. If we go to sea, it'll become vulnerable that, to that cruiser. Select it now so we can intervene. Now, we could rely on its movement range and flee, but there's another way to keep it safe. <laughs> Easy. A cruiser can carry up to two helicopters as long as the cruiser is safe. It's So are its passengers. As luck would have it, we have a cruiser under your command, so why don't you move it to the cruiser space and load it? I, honestly, like, loading helicopters into cruisers is something nobody ever really does in this series, and it's, it really is such an underutilized thing that I think it's the main reason that carriers were put into dual strike. It's just like, everybody forgets that this is actually a mechanic, so it's just like, okay, here, we're gonna make a unit specifically designed to load air units onto it at sea. By opting to load units, we resupply them with fuel and ammunition, too. Now let's let the cruiser, and I'll show you what you can do. Cruisers engage enemy units directly and, and attack either air units or submarines. They are the strongest against subs. Here's an extra tip worth jotting down. Enemies will not be able to see a unit you place on a reef or a fog of war unless they're adjacent to it. Move here and attack. Ooh, almost there. Almost there. Nice. Crews are super <laughs> effective against subs, but they also attack air units. You'll need to get to a safe spot to unload the transport copters, so for now, why don't you rely on the, your lander unit? The lander unit can transport units such as an APC does, however, it's unique that you can load up to two ground units at once. Keep in mind that on the map, you can only place the only place you can drop off troops is on beaches. Normally, it can, it can use seaports to drop and repair, but there aren't any of those here. Under these conditions, the slander is a unit I just can't do without. Mm -hmm. I agree. You must be careful to keep it from being fired upon. I'll leave it to you to determine what you can do with it. I trust your planning, Sammy. Would you like some advice on using your battleship and sub? Of course. Battleships are indirect combat naval units. They can fire on both ground units and naval units and have the largest range of fire of all indirect combat units. Select this one so we can test it out. The sub, right? Did you notice that this has a large attack range? That's right, battleships have an attack range of two to six bases. 
Just stay put and fire on the rocket unit. That's right. I, I, I can't deselect it. There we go. I was going to show off the, the range of these things, but I'll have to say that for the next day. But the range on these things is absolutely insane. It even outguns a rocket unit, which is just a good showcase of just how ridiculously broken battleships are when you can never get your hands on one. Battleships are key to controlling the seas. Make sure you keep them safe from enemy submarines. Speaking of... Subs are direct combat units and can fire on all naval units, including the battleship above. Select it, and I'll show you. You said battleship, right? Okay. I'm always going to keep doing that just because it's fun to hear what they say when you select the wrong unit. Great job. As you can see, subs can inflict heavy damage. Okay. Subs can also dive under the water, and they can't be attacked by most units while submerged, right? Just remember that other subs and cruisers can still attack them, and make sure to keep an eye on their fuel. As you know, when naval units run out of fuel, they sink. Submerged subs use a lot more fuel. In fact, they use five units per day. If in danger, sluts rise to the surface and head to port. Well, there are no ports here, so use an APC to refuel. <laughs> Very delight to work with, Sammy. I wish everyone paid as much attention as you. Mm -hmm. I aim to please. I've got it from here, ma'am. All right. And with that said, let's load our unit into here. Let's load our tank into there. Uh, the only safe spot right here is on the beach, and landers are actually the only naval units that can actually move on the beaches, so we'll just keep you right here to keep you out of range of the rocket and the battleship at the moment. As for everybody else, let's get you moving. We could actually move the tank up here to attack the sub, but it would do no damage to it. So instead, we'll just move you right here, move you right here, and we'll move you right here. And we'll have to deal with that, but he shouldn't be able to get to... Okay, he might actually damage the artillery a little bit, but our units here should be able to retaliate, no problem. Huh. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I got a little surprise for you. You didn't expect me to lead you all the way out here with nothing, did you? On day seven, my boy Flax bringing his troops, and we're gonna squish you like a little bug. Oh, come on! <sighs> surprise? Uh, be honest, you had no idea, right? Man, Lash's voice actress is so good. You can just tell that she was having a lot of fun doing uh, the voice work for this. <laughs> Better get going before time runs out. Tick tock, tick tock, see you around, tee hee. Well, isn't this an unpleasant development? This black hole seal apparently has a brain. Okay, Sammy, you heard her. Flack and his goons are closing in. We gotta clear this map in seven days. Here's your chance to prove your reputation of thinking on your feet it is deserved. Roger that. Yes, ma'am. I'll give it my best shot. Also, I can't stand her. It's actually really good that she's doing this because she's splitting up her units. Ugh. Oh, you're going after the mechs? Really? Okay. You're going to regret this because now you're just in range of all my artillery units. This should actually take out the sub. Yep, there it goes. It didn't even knock it down the four. It's honestly kind of sad, not gonna lie. Alright, let's go over our new CO, Lash. The Wonderkind of the Black Hole Army, a small, fierce, and brilliant inventor. She revels in the joy of battle. Lash's ground and naval units gain plus 10 to firepower per terrain star. She's actually a pretty decent CO in this game. And even so, uh, she, she's even more deadly. Getting in her way is what she likes, and what she doesn't like is not getting her way. Or getting her way and not getting her way, or her likes and dislikes. Her CO power, she actually gets it pretty fast, or that might just be because we did a lot of damage to her naval units. 
but her regular CO power is terrain tactics. Slashes units movements costs are one across all terrain, except in snow. They also gain plus 10 to defense. Her super CO power is prime tactics. Slash units gain plus 10 defense and double benefits to terrain defense cover. Their movement cost drops to one, and except in snow. She really doesn't like the snow. As you can see, her units are pretty basic around the board, same as Andy's units. She's really a pain to deal with in combat, not gonna lie. If you, there was ever a CO that you just absolutely hate because they have like un, unbearable levels of defense, Lash is your girl. For the time being, let's take out her tanks right here. I love the face she makes when you take out her units as well. Alright, he's not going to even bother to get off of that city, so we're good. Let's move you up here. Move you over here, and we'll move you up here. As for our cruiser, it's honestly kind of useless at this point. So I think what we'll do is we'll set it right here. We'll get our lander moving so we can get it ready to dock at the beach up here and drop off the troops. Let's get our battleship up here. Honestly, that that rocket is so weak, it's not going to do anything to the battleship. So I'd rather be able to shell them from a distance and hit those anti-air units than have to deal with uh, any unpleasant surprise from the rockets. Plus, once we take out the battleship, it, it, there's literally nothing to stand in the way of our naval units. Just like that. I want to even try to get Sammy's Super Seal power up just to show how broken it is. I'm gonna have to get rid of you. And use her Seal power. Okay, cool. Wow, she already got Prime Tactics that fast, huh? Alright, time to start the rave. I'm just bobbing my head to the speed, it's so good. Uh, the one place I didn't want you to go. Yeah, and as you can see, the de defense for this is so good, it actually gets its own icon with six defense stars. Those rockets would have absolutely annihilated her units right there, but because they got that extra level of defense, they are pretty safe. It's even more insane when uh, she gets units in the mountains and gets the defense bonus because it's just like, it's so ridiculous of how defensive her units can become. Oop. How close am I? I still got a ways to go. Okay, I see how it is. You're not going to let my battleship get any closer, are you? I can't risk sending my sub over there because the battle or the the cruiser will absolutely annihilate the sub. No matter what I do. What's your health at? I don't want to risk taking them out just yet, so let's just do that. Actually, no. They're, they're going to take damage regardless. And they're ready to keep the rockets safe, so yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, I kind of saw this coming. 
Oh. I guess you're going for the APC instead. Okay, so let's do this to keep you there. We'll put you on the HQ. We'll soften you guys up. That we should have those rockets, or not rockets, uh, those interior units taken care of, no problem. And because of the fact that this cruiser w refuses to move out of the way, I can't really do anything with the rest of my naval units. Gamble paid off. I knew you couldn't resist the ABC Chen. Huh. Black troops are right tomorrow. I hope Sammy's okay. We're doing just fine. Actually, let me check something real quick. Okay, let's do this. Ship to take care of you. And tomorrow we'll have that HQ captured, no problem. One day left, but one day is all I need. Let's take that HQ and be done with this mission once and for all. <laughs> Congratulations, you won! Sure. <sighs> I pulled through somehow. Uh... Now, I'd like to have a word with our feisty little friend. Drag her over, Sammy. Roger. Right away, ma'am. Beep, beep, boop. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. I the the fake lash. Uh, there was something I always liked. And it's just like it's literally just like a, a a doll version of her. That's actually really funny. Wait a minute. This isn't that brat. This is. What? It's a fake. Some kind of dummy robot. Dummy. I prefer artificial malevolence. Powering down. Man, WayForward really went out of their way just to add these little things to it, and I love them for it. Uh, the real Lash escaped. Unbelievable. She played us like a pair of fools, and now Flex troops are closing in. Let's get out of here, Sammy. Uh, what a troublesome pair they turned out to be. Lash. She's gonna be a handful. So, perfect S-ring, so I'm definitely gonna take it. <laughs> 